Welcome back to Boss Guy Live 2.0. Welcome back, welcome back. The best is back. In this video, I want to name the title of the video The Stereotypes of the Black Youth. What is it? The Stereotypes of the Black Youth. The Stereotypes of the Black Youth. Perfect. And let's speak about the stereotype of the black youth. Speaking of some of you coons. You, 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 coon older people that'll look at a young black man, call him a thug, call him gay, call him faggots. They don't know nothing. They don't know nothing about love. They don't know nothing about this. And y'all speak on stuff like this is not understanding where are the, 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 the tools for them to understand this. And Old, old heads and older people and elders kill me so much sometimes. Y'all always act like these these young boys or, or the youth just need to know what y'all need to know. And y'all be corrupted in so many other doctrines and understanding. Why y'all always look down at a motherfucker, man? Like all you, all the the conscious community people and stuff like that. Why y'all waiting on leaders? And it, it, it seems to me that the youth moving more. Fluently moving way more better, having way more understanding than y'all motherfuckers. Cause at least they will have an open mind about something. At least they'll take a chance to go study another uh, 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 scholar or study another, you know, study different educations of what's going on in the world and trying to balance it out and trying to really find the truth. They have young people and young girls and young boys all through y'all churches and they don't really be going nowhere. Like my 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 my, my uh pops even the other day was out here talking and he was saying his pastor love pork. His pastor love all the all the abominations with the most high. And with the, oh oh what the most high said we uh, the Christ came and did away with them laws. That's why we questioning questioning Christ and we questioning the New Testament. Cause y'all always use that to make it okay to look down at the youth. Or they have to walk the way y'all walk, or they have to do the way y'all do. And when we explain y'all, and, and, and when it be scholars and people explaining to y'all about the youth, y'all don't even like, it's like y'all take any motherfuckers who young and youth and bitch, put them on a platform and just let them go do whatever. Shout out to Ruthless. Ruthless. So the youth is very, like the most high said, he said, I'm dealing with them. This the fearless age. This is the fearless age right now. And I, I deal with you. I fuck with you. My academy and what I'm trying to do. Like, bad people got to wake up and understand. And like, when, why would y'all just keep talking? That's all we doing is talking and talking and talking. That's all we doing is talking. Shouts out to the Ruthless Strain. And shouts out to my one of my birthday's gift. One of my queens. My queen gave it to me. My OG. But I'm just getting back on this topic of the youth. Because I really be feeling like feeling sorry for like the elders. I don't really feel sorry for them. Because the youth can really give a fuck about what you think or not. They, gonna, they moving. And they moving right. And they ain't scary. They they ready to get down. They ready to get down. They ready to get busy, man. Bosky Live 2.0. Share this video. Like this video. We have to come more into what the youth is doing. We have to go more into what the young dudes and what the young cats and what the young queens is putting down and put them on the platform and putting them on the right track. Some of you elders, even even y'all know y'all doctrine, y'all education, and y'all scholarship don't be right, but just to have the power, to just to have some people following y'all and y'all can get some type of control, y'all keep on going with the shit. Even though y'all 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 know in y'all mind like I could I could lead them into a way better life. Or I could lead them or I could lead this person to a, a way better understanding and thinking. But what y'all do, y'all just go grips for the money or for the sex. 
Yeah, you elders. Y'all like to use the use because there's some of the shit they don't know. And y'all like to abuse them like that. And I'm not talking about all the elders and I ain't, but I don't see no one doing anything. I'm about to be, that's why I'm doing the things I'm doing because I want to get up into life and I want to get up into the light to, to, to spread more light. When you get when you get light and you get into the light, it's your job to spread more light. Because y'all lives is dark or because y'all got problems with different things. What they got to do with the children? What they got to do with our black, with our black children? Our black kids that's really out here going hard, really out here doing great things. Nobody said nothing about it. Like I just exiled them. But they ain't but my thing is they don't even care about that shit. That's why I, that's why I respect and I like. They don't even care about what y'all be saying. They don't even be caring about what y'all be doing or what y'all really got really got going on. I see a little couple of little scholars here and there, you know. But I want Justin to speak about it, my engineer, to speak a little bit about his little feelings about how he feel about it too. You know, I, I, I know you got to, I know you feel something because, you know, you, you, you really the one who brought up this topic. Yeah. So I want to hear what you got to say about it. So basically, it's like middle-aged guys, you know, people who, you know, 40, 50, not, not too much of, you know, the old, old people, but people who think they know everything just because you're older than me or just because, you know, you say you have experience in life, but you're no better than me you're not perfect give, give them an example you know i have well it's people in my school you know it's teachers in my school who you know they have meetings or whatever with the black youth or you know the black males they tell us oh we going to jail and if we don't stop what we doing but how you know everybody doing the things that you say you know not everybody is going down that road right and really like they stereotype us by putting us in the category or we going to prison if we don't you know fix our behavior and all this like it's not the whole school it's not the whole black youth and it's definitely not me right you know and i know it's definitely not you you know but and it just it just kind of bring you down a bit and that stereotype it do and that stereotype it, it would it would it would spark a mind of a person with like without less or you know Without less, you know, they just have nothing and do be on it like in the traps and in the blocks and the hustling, you know, a young black dude and he hear that from a counselor or he hear that from his school, in his mind he do. And so you know what he said? Well I might well just do go off. You know what I mean? I might well be this savage. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't agree with a lot of the young youth is doing. I don't I don't agree with a lot of the elders is doing. This video is not to bash either sides. But it, it, it is to shed more light from the youth and the uncaredness of how we we don't care about them. Like there's a story on Facebook. We heard about that story of uh, that little girl killed herself. A little black girl. Mm -hmm. She committed suicide on Facebook. And she was not the only little black girl that committed suicide on Facebook. How many minutes we in? Hey, That's hey, good. Hey. She was the little black, I forgot her name, but y'all can look it up. It was a little black girl on um, Facebook. She killed herself. She was a little mental, not like mental in a way to kill herself, but she was she was going through things ever since she was young. You know, she got molested. She got raped a couple of times. And I know one a couple of dudes probably older than her. You know what I'm saying? And I know one was like one of her lovers or, you know, her boyfriend raped her too. And, you know, she was from group home to group home. And it was just a very unfortunate very 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 sad story about this this young black girl so really long live her soul you know what i mean and the, and the most high i say the ones that you forgot about the ones that you didn't love the more and the ones that you killed i won't forget them i won't forget them so that little girl is in in, in, in great hands with the holy father show them that that that, that perfect that light right there i'm bossy out man i like visuals and art and different things show them up there Showing me a little bit good visuals, but he did showing that up over there too. See, showing y'all a good little spot we in, man. But yeah, it was unfortunate that that happened to that little girl. So, really, with the youth, man, all the youngins, you know what I mean? Holler at me, man. Bossy out 16 on IG. Know the 16 East at Gmail. Holler at me. B 
be be Basque Orleans on Facebook. Wrote you already. He be putting it at the end for me. So y'all see my information, my contact, man. I got the uh, I got the Pimp C Monday. Pimp C Monday is going on. And you don't know nothing about Pimp C. Whatever you comments, you 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 trolls get me, man. I trolls crazy. Shouts out to all my new subscribers and shouts out to everybody who commenting on these videos and dealing with me on an everyday everyday basis, man. And it's a little cool thing, man. It's like it's a wristband for your wrist, but you know you need to to toke up one time. You can toke, you know. Look, say so look, some little dude walking down the street. Little dude walking down the street with a basketball, man. Talk about the youth while you're watching. I don't even see him. Oh my god. Here's the youth right here. <laughs> Look at you. Look at, him. Yeah. That's Look at the youth right here. Look what they do. Hey, you like this visual though, dog? You see me, bro? Uh, you got yeah. to cut this out. Sit down and listen to this. You start, you start selling those and buy a whole bunch of them. Uh, those. Can we come back so I can finish up? You do your Zoom thing too. I like to do that. Uh -huh. Tell them. The stereotypes of the black youth. You a stereotype for real. How? You got nappy hair. You stereotyping me right now? Yeah, exactly. That's the point. Hey, 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 hey. This is not the bark of this video. You see, you see that? You see what this youth do? <laughs> you come in bags from one Harris? They the hair is not nappy. Both of their hair is not nappy. I like my hair. They got good hair. They just don't take care of it like me. I like my hair. But the stereotype of the black youth, man. Hey, you elders and you old heads, man. Why is the fuck up, man? Cool looking down. You know what a real OG told me? Don't look down at nobody unless you picking them up, bro. Unless you picking up a person and let you trying to see a person do better in life and stuff like that. That's when you get down on them. Don't use them for money and fame and disgrade them and act like they ain't nothing because once you look around you look up those gonna be the new leaders those gonna be the new doctors and those gonna be the new rappers and those gonna be the new everything that you won't have a choice but to listen to and to deal with and for the most part we got some good people out here and some good elders out here and some good old heads and some good ogs out here that's keeping a, a good grip on a lot of a, a good majority of the youth like one, this one coon gonna tell me, oh yeah, Steve Harvey <laughs> he took a thousand, he took a thousand students and taught them how to fill out applications. Oh really? <laughs> he taught them how to fill out applications and put on ties. Like they don't do that in fucking school. <laughs> how about taking to a Fortune 500 business and sitting them down and teaching them how to diversify funds and stocks and in the vesting. How about giving them an opportunity to run running your businesses and getting them out the streets? They don't have to wait. How you know a motherfucker gonna make it to 25 or 30? Or 26? Being 14, 15, and 16 in this damn world. Oh yeah, all of them gonna make it. So shouts out to all them college students that play sports, stayed in there, got your degrees, and you know, did what you had to do for hey, college? Don't make you successful. Right. It give you a way. That's all it do. It, it just give you a way to do something different. To think outside the box. It really to open your mind. It ain't fit to make you millions of dollars. Cause both our beings there, being there, they dropped out of college because they seen what's in front of them. Cause it was too much of the same shit. It was just teaching them curriculum, 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 curriculum. When life is way more than curriculum. How many minutes we got in? 13 minutes, we're 14, you gotta wrap it up. Bosque Alive 2.0. Shouts out to all my youth. Quit stereotyping the youth, our black youth, our Latinos, our Jamaicans, our Haitians. Shadow on, King Shadow on. I wanna give thanks to the, the Most High and to everybody who watching these videos. This is Bosque Alive 2.0. Never look down at no one unless you're picking them up.